So our game's called Restaurant Big Wig. We've made it just for the iPad because we really wanted to take advantage of all the iPad's cool features. We think we've used the iPad in a lot of innovative ways, certainly for a strategy game. Here's the home page from which you can start games. Uh, you can go to Apple's Game Center if you're part of Game Center and see how you stack up on the leaderboards. You can uh, start a tutorial. Now this is uh, like a board game. You've got to give this game some thought to really win. So if you really want to get good at it, we really urge you to take that tutorial. It doesn't take very long. Here I am setting up a game. You can compete against other live people, or you can compete against up to four of our different robots, our bots, or artificial intelligence. They're all very different from each other. Here, I've set up a pass-around game, so I can just pass the iPad around the room and share it with friends. For this illustration, I've invented some friends. I've got Tom Jefferson, a guy named Abe Lincoln in the room, Joe Stalin, Mao, a famous economist named Von Mises, and then there's uh, me playing along. Uh, but you can do any mix you want of uh, bots and uh, live people. Here's the main game board. You see it's set up like a board game, something we're all familiar with. If you look at the upper left corner, you see Tom Jefferson. He's opened four restaurants. You can see three of them here. They're scattered around Virginia. We can look at their sales, their profits, how good their food and service are, how much they've invested in marketing, how efficient they are, good accounting and cost saving programs. Right below that, in the lower left corner, you'll see where Tom has got a bunch of people on his desk. It's, it's applicants who want to go to work for him or people who propose programs. So like in the service area, the orange cards, you can see there's two individuals and there's also somebody's proposed he send a manager to training. Uh, the blue lady is uh, food quality, a chef. Red, the efficiency cards, green for marketing. On the right side, you'll see that Tom, he can open new restaurants. And he does his planning in the lower right corner by accumulating the right expansion opportunities, a location, they're rated one, two, and three, where three is the best. Picking his type, either fine dining, fast food, or family dining, and he's got to pick a cuisine. And down below, you'll see he could pick between Asian, Italian, and sandwich shops. Uh, he can always click in the upper right corner and see the history and more details about all his restaurants, or click on the newspaper to see it again. Here we see Joe Stalin. He's a pretty evil player. You can see his restaurants are called Gulag 132 and Siberia Cafeteria. But the question is, should he hire this woman who's a really good accountant? Her name's Why Me? Oh no, bad news. Ah, ah, I'm in second place. At least I got my picture in the paper and I'm ahead of that silly Tom Jefferson. Here I look at a competitor's data. Rasputin. He's opened a bunch of fast food restaurants, 16 of them now. But here are his first restaurants. He first called his first one, I Dare You to Eat This, and his second one's called You're Still Alive. Hey, I, 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 no wonder he's running fifth in the game. You can look at the details. You can see exactly what happened. Now, this has got to be the first business strategy game ever made that you never type in a number. Not in this version, anyway. All this is automatically generated by our system. It uses realistic models. It uses real data from the restaurant industry. And we studied how they grow and how restaurant empires grow. And here, you can look back. Tom Jefferson's looking at the very first year of his first restaurant and looked at the opening crew and what type of restaurant it is. Also in this ledger, or he can look down and see when he won an award or whether he had something good or bad happen to him. You can have good reviews and bad reviews, food poisoning, uh, health scares, uh, uh, good, all kinds of stuff. Get on the Food Channel. And here is the newspaper. You see it has colorful charts so you can really see where you stand. Industry insights uh, give you facts and information about the restaurant industry. Every new restaurant is covered, as are all the awards and reviews, special awards and honors, and even advertising by players in the game. These newspapers, you can always look back and see previous issues, uh, or you can uh, email them, you can save them, you can use uh, Twitter or Facebook to share them with your friends. We think this is a, a, a real breakthrough in these kind of games. Ah, ah, I can't believe it. Uh, at least Tom Jefferson's restaurant won the Quality Award. Can't believe I was second. I was gaining at the end. Well, Mal, I'm ready to go at it again. That's the story on a restaurant bigwig. 
This is our first step, our first game. With your support in the future, we hope to make games about every industry. Movie games, election simulation games. We've dreamed of doing these for years. And this is just our first, a tiny step for mankind, but a giant leap for big wig games. And we'd love for you to play the game, to tell your friends about it. Those icons in the corner of this image, that's the app icon. If you go to the app store right now, it's for sale for $3.99. And we think it's a bargain and, and hope you enjoy it. Play hard and prosper.